Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Daniel Masharia, aka DJ Gigi, and I am a DJ, TV host, radio host, and a music entrepreneur. And I'm happy, elated, excited oh my gosh, yes. to be here. your story. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Jasmine Masharia. Mm. I am a cookbook author, chef by profession, mm. and a food entrepreneur. And I'm also really glad to be here to share our love story. So that's true. Yeah, we've been married for exactly four years. Well, that, okay. We celebrated our fourth anniversary, uh, October fourth. Wow, he's really taking time to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, October 4th. October 4th. Yeah. yeah, and we dated for a year and a half before that. Yes. Yeah. 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 And before that we were friends for how many years? 3 years. For 3 years. But more like strangers, not friends friends. Yeah, acquaintances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are always two versions to, to yes, how we met. Eh? Yeah, and one is the truth. Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, we met at a hip hop concert mm. at um, Flames concert. Yeah, Captured it's, Tour. Captured Tour, yeah, yeah, in 2010. Was it 2010 or in 20, 20? In 2010. 2010, end um, of the year. I in was. Mavuno. Yes. Yeah. I was in a relationship at the time. Mm. <laughs> and. Uh, <Shindu Akabisa. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> we met outside. I had just moved back. I was living in Spain for a couple of years. Mm. And when I moved back, I really just didn't know how the, like, the gospel scene or who was who. Mm. So I remember I was with my friends and we were like taking pictures with everyone outside. Mm. It's like, hey, you're Giuliani. Picture. <laughs> and then I met Gigi outside and then he's like hey i'm gigi and i'm like i'm chi chi because i've been chi chi like that's been my nickname since i was a kid yeah. and then i was like how cool is that and we took around we took, uh, four pictures together yet with everyone else i took one picture so i was like pretty comfortable around him <laughs> on the first day after we took that picture what happened is uh we were not necessarily uh, very close with each other yeah we were just uh friends from afar We'd see each other at gigs. We'd see each other at gigs and we're like, months. yeah, and we're like, hey, brother, how you doing? You know? Yeah. Um, and we had each other's <coughs> numbers the whole time. It's but true. It was it's just true. like, yeah. nothing. I just saw him as a brother. <laughs> <laughs> so we were really into, into hip hop events, especially the international artists who used to come. So we used to meet uh, over there very many times. She was a bubbly lady, very bubbly, you know, cool with everyone. Uh, having conversations with everyone, so I was okay. like, yeah. saying that in a good <laughs> way. He did not like my bubbliness because he was like, She's being bubbly with everyone, how will I know? <laughs> and so, I remember now, fast forward two years into me being single, and it was 2012 December, and God really convicted me and told me, um that I hadn't fully surrendered my heart to him. And that really shocked me because I'm like, I haven't did it for two years. What do you mean I haven't fully surrendered, you know? And he just convicted me about how I was still trying to advise him on the person he, like I was expecting the, to be my husband. Cause like I would meet someone, I'm like, okay, God, if he comes like that, okay, but you're God, but you're God. <laughs> hey, but God, okay, but you're God, you're God, you're God. You know, so like I kept on trying to give God this model that i wanted um and the funny thing i remembered uh someone mm. by james okumu yeah who'd come to a bible study that we were both at we were both at prior we both of us and there's something you <laughs> said in the bible study please tell them <laughs> <laughs> so he shared about how he had um his love stories like when they got together with his wife they moved into kibera like after they got married and she'd come from an affluent family but she was willing to go through that journey with him because he didn't have money at the time and then he asked us like the ladies in the bible study he was like how many women would be willing to go through a Kibera story mm. for the person God has for you. In fact, specifically, he was like, <laughs> how many of you ladies can stay in a Babati house? Okay, yeah. Now, you know that those <laughs> times, you, you want to you wanna look holy. 
Ah, I didn't lift my hand. Baby, I was like, no, 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 that's not what I want. <laughs> and the guys are like, eh, yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> None of the women lifted their hands. <laughs> and anyway, fast forward now to that 2012 mm. and that December, and I remember that someone, and it made sense. And I was like, oh my gosh, mm. the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from God. Mm. So whatever He has for me, whether it's a Kibera story or whatever story, it's good and perfect and i'm okay with it mm. however it comes mm. and i just i was like in tears and i just fully surrendered my heart mm. and the funny thing is a month later we started vibing yeah and so for me like i was yeah. not necessarily well the kibera story <laughs> no 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 the reason for that <laughs> yeah. was i think why god was trying to break down all those deal breakers in my head was mm. because for the longest time i thought since i drive he should drive mm. No, I'm not even talking about like Range Rover. It was just those ones for if I drive, you should drive. Oh, yeah. If I have a job, you should have a job. If I have a house, you should have his house. <laughs> Yet, when I, when Gigi and I started Vibe, he didn't have any of those things. So yeah. now you can take it from On there. On my side, <laughs> what happened was, you know, I was I had um, started doing DJing. Well, not, not starting, but I was continuing to do my DJing. And it was a bit of a struggle. Yeah. You know, because, uh, you know, I was mixing uh, at events, at weddings and all these things. You're just a freelance DJ, you know, so you're trying to make this thing work. And I just uh, come out of campus and, uh, you know, um, I was just, I plunged myself inside 100% yeah. uh, into this music thing, into this DJing thing. With all its struggles. With all its time. struggles. Yeah. It didn't have money, you know, <laughs> but somehow God was just trying to, to encourage me to do it. And, um, you know, at that time, you know, I was broke as fire <laughs> broke like crazy so i think by the time you know i was looking at jazz in my head i was just like what you know i don't have anything man i don't know how to watch sai hakuna maching ching unajua so yani um you know let's say fast forward to that you know i i gained my courage and uh, you know we started vibing. I think end of uh, 2012, right? No, 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 January. No, January yeah. 2013. Yes, I had a house. Um, I b had like a get together in my house yeah. where I invited like 20 people. Mm. Yeah, and I caught Gigi staring three times. So yeah. that's when I was like, it's awkward. You know, you can catch someone once. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, I'm a zuba. <laughs> Hey, twice, three times, you're just like, you're even like wondering <laughs> how you're looking. So, yeah, we started vibing after that. What attracted me to jazz was uh, the fact that, uh, number one, she, she was generally physically attractive. Oh. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, me being a big guy, I was just like, I can't get a small chick. Let me just be real with the yeah. people out there. Yeah. I can't get a small chick, but I have to get someone who is, you know, uh, of, feet. of we fit. You know, we are of the <laughs> same size. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know I, I really loved her passion for God and, you know, someone who was serious about God. Um, because at the end of the day, I knew that uh, in a relationship or in a marriage, you need God to be at the center for you yeah. guys to make it. Without yeah. God, you're not going anywhere. You know, so God was definitely uh, going to be number one. In fact, what I would have done is just taken that second point and put it as the first <laughs> and have the physical uh, <laughs> yeah. attraction as the second, okay? Yeah. Then uh, another thing also is she was very okay with, uh, with uh, people. You know, she wasn't that person who was... Uh, feeling sweet for people and everything. She was basically interacting with everyone, um, getting to know everyone on a personal level. Just like I was saying, you know, bubbliness, <laughs> to some people might look like, you know, it was a, it was a, a, maybe not a deal breaker necessarily, but something that maybe someone would not like. Yeah. Um, but uh, to her, it was a positive thing because, you know, she knew how to uh, live with people. Yeah. And even she actually used to live with <laughs> some yeah. two other ladies yeah. um, at that time. So that also was really good. She was also very generous. Like uh, Jazz was that person who, when there was any uh, problem that used to occur in the events that we used to have, or uh, any, uh, just basically financially, she used to really come through, you know, and she used to help even other people, not necessarily even us who are maybe in the same circle, yeah. but uh, she used to just help out, want to help out. Uh, everywhere she was being called to help out so mm -hmm. those are some of the things that uh, you know were really attractive 
And, uh, you know, the fact that also I had, you know, a bird told me that, you know, she was from Spain and she knew how to cook. I was like, <laughs> that's a plus. Wow, it's a plus. Nice. You know, so, you know, those are some of them. Nikyanza kuka hapa and say all of them, trust me, we will stay here for five hours. Oh <laughs> the first time I met Gigi, I remember thinking he was... I know this will sound weird, but I thought he was the guy version of me. <laughs> so, I don't know. So does that mean I'm attracted to myself? Anyway. <laughs> I mean, but anyway, I thought he was very handsome, like, from day one. That one I really loved. And I liked, I always wanted a tall guy. Like, I know, I just talked about how Azuku's trying not to advise God. <laughs> but I was like, okay, God, can you let him to Mfupi? Akiwoi. Because, you know, you just struggle. You're just like, okay, when I wear heels or something and we go out, I'll be like looking at him down. Like, mm. it's just awkward. Yeah. So I loved his height. I loved his love for God. And then one thing I loved the most about Juju was his heart. He just has like a really golden heart. He's like Aww. the sweetest guy ever. Ever 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 like i meet people who don't even know him and they're just like i was just with an, a lady in the uber the other day she's like he just looks so sweet and i'm like he is <laughs> he is so yeah those were a few of the things that i really loved about him Amen. from the get-go i receive in that vibing process that we were having gigi got his job so mm. hallelujah oh my, amen. he who findeth eh, mm. attains favor <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, at least, okay, so he did get his job and I remember our first date, he took me to Central Park <laughs> and he brought those, you know, those 50 bob fruit salads, naraibinas. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, oh, <laughs> I think the second date was on top of KCC, could you 100, 100 bob each, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and it was fun. I mean, for me, I'd never been to like a public park because, mm. <laughs> yeah, so I was a bit uptight the whole time. I'm like looking at my handbag, like, mm. <laughs> I hope it doesn't go. <laughs> but we had a good time. We had a good time. I, I think, think I was just really nervous. I think what, what, yeah. what guys, in fact, let me just paint the picture for you. You know, I didn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, because his first salon hadn't come through yet. I hadn't gotten yeah. my first salon. This was a transition that was happening. Yeah. And Jazz had a lot of money, you know, because. <laughs> okay, don't say it like because, that. Because, let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> she had a job, you know, she had everything <laughs> together. So, you know, for me, I just sat down and I was like, me and Tajifungele Mshi Pinaeza, yeah. you know. I mean, I, mean, I yeah. was just like, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna be me yeah. because I would, I would also um, yeah. ask God, like, the person I want to meet, I want we'll them to accept me yeah. for who I am. Yeah. So, if I'm able to afford, you know, a small meal, um, you know, from a supermarket to go and sit at Central Park, yeah. I think, you know, if the person doesn't expect, accept me on that day, then, then I guess that. maybe it wasn't God's plan, yeah. you know. And I mean, in Kenya, but I'm in the Central Park, man. <laughs> 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 but it was a fun date. I think I was just mm. really nervous. But we ate yeah. fruit salads, kunyezo, packets, to juice. Yes. Yeah. And we got to bond, man. That's the most important thing. You know, we got to talk. Yeah. Get getting to know each other even yeah. more and more and more. Yeah. So we're already planning the wedding um, and I know a lot of couples, funny enough, who have gotten married without a proposal. And so for me, it wasn't like a deal breaker. And, <clears throat> but it was something that of course, like I'm a chick, you just desire to have. And so on my birthday, you came, I think we had breakfast or something. Then we went for a movie. So now when we finished the movie, um, I remember like right after the credits just started rolling up and then our my favorite our favorite love, love hip hop song yeah. came on yeah. and then i'm just like since when the sari center played this <laughs> play this type of music <laughs> and then like the video started and it was Gigi just like walking around some street somewhere I don't even know where he recorded <laughs> that and he's just talking about our love story and you know the things we've been through and then our pictures are just playing and I'm just there like what <laughs> and then I started crying and then before I knew it he was on his knee and everyone was clapping and then my friends came out of nowhere and yeah it was an epic proposal yeah. so i said yes and it was the ugly cry you know there's that cry you're just like oh yes it was like, <laughs> <laughs> like i don't even post those pictures it was, it was disastrous but it was really nice it was really nice yeah, yeah. so that, that, that's, what, that, that's what happened man I, look, I look, look at how he's changed his posture <laughs> like, yeah so that's what i did <laughs> i now present to you hallelujah the newest and hottest couple in town 
Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Ngopo. Hallelujah! The wedding was nice. Wedding. Um, the planning was the worst. I don't think there's any couple that ever says the planning yeah. was good. Planning was crazy. I think I even lost my mind at some point. Like my sanity. Like I would be driving and you just like stop on the side of the road mm -hmm. just to gather your thoughts. Where am I going? Yeah. <laughs> it was intense. Um, but it was fun mm -hmm. when the day did come. And I loved how we put like our footprints in the, in the wedding. Like we... Yeah. Since we are all about hip hop, and why hip hop is so special to us is because mm -hmm. one, I got saved through a hip hop song. Yeah. So like hip hop has always been that thing. So and we met at a hip hop concert. So mm -hmm. like we needed, we had our theme was love and hip hop. Mm -hmm. So we wore sports shoes. I mean like sneakers. We ha we did the Harlem Shake after our vows, which really shocked everyone, including my parents on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, uh, we had a graffiti cake. Yeah. We had, I walked down the aisle with hip hop. I mean, the whole wedding was hip hop, and even like our photo shoot wasn't like at a garden, it was with some graffiti walls. Walls, yeah. So, yeah, it was memorable. I really enjoyed the day. It was good. I, th I think, you know, the, the, the wedding process was interesting because. And maybe this this can be like some kind of tips that we can give people. Eh? Oh my god! That when you're planning a wedding, you can yeah. you, you know you can try and save cash. I'm not yeah. saying that you be too cheap because it's a special day for yeah. you. But uh, you know we try to get different service providers. Is like it now, for example, the same one, yeah, for the uh, same thing because it's more expensive. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like uh, an example would be you know if you get uh, if you're getting tents and chairs, and you know you know someone who gives you chairs cheaper. Yeah. yeah, you can get the tent and then you get the chairs, candle. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And don't compromise um, on quality. Don't compromise on quality. Be smart. Make all those calls. Yeah. Find out, yeah. like research. Research, because yeah. I think our wedding looked much more expensive than it was. Yeah. And number two, spend money on your honeymoon. Yes. Prior. We like yes. did not pay for the full wedding at first. Mm. We just like put money aside and just paid for our tickets yeah. to go to SA. Because yeah. we were just like, the day will come and go. And we want to really have a memorable honeymoon. So we just closed our eyes and booked our honeymoon. Because we know so many couples that plan like a mm. big wedding and then don't do anything after that. So yeah. Another thing, use yeah. your networks. Because... Yeah. Uh, like now for me being in the industry that I am in, you know, I didn't have to pay for sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to pay for a DJ. Yeah. I, you know, there, there are so many things that I didn't have to pay for. And I, we didn't I, have a committee either. Oh yeah, we did have a committee. Yeah. We just called family members to come and help us. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, we saw a lot of um, yeah. uh, God moments. Like we just saw the hand of God on a couple of, of things, you know, that till today we just sit down and we're like, man, that cannot have been us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? People just coming out of, nowhere and blessing you with a big chunk of money like 130k <coughs> you know what i'm just saying from yeah. a couple just know. from a couple we know. Like um, <laughs> 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 yeah, another thing home. another thing also a lot of yeah. restoration yeah. in relationships yeah. happened on on uh, our planning yes period, yes yeah know. and uh, especially since i come from a broken family so mm. it was such a good it was such a testimony just to see how God used the wedding to bring my family back together. Mm. So it, I feel like that wedding wasn't just for us. Yeah. So it was just an, it was an amazing time. It was an amazing yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. We, so we, we saw the hand of the Lord. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. My people don't tell you how weird it is the first month. Mm. <laughs> I remember like even just starting from the wedding day mm -hmm. when people left i used to live by myself before i wasn't even living with my parents mm -hmm. and i was but living when, with my parents but when they left mm -hmm. you feel abandoned mm -hmm. like i'm feeling like Akimamu Menda, you know like i don't even <laughs> know where that came from you just feel and that and i think that's why it's so important to marry the right person because you can imagine if you are all about just been having this flashy wedding and stuff and marrying the wrong guy and then like you get that feeling afterwards and you're like wow i'm stuck with this person ah, story. yeah i don't story gosh. so i remember like i was that was the, like we were, uh, let me just say i was having my freak out moments is all we were calling them during the honeymoon where i would be like Aki, what have we done we are strangers i've married a stranger <laughs> i'm gonna live with a stranger <laughs> and the funny thing though is that what used to calm me is knowing that i married the right guy just mm. thinking about our story and how all those things that were such a 
like a yani it was just meant to be you know and so when i used to have my freak out moments he'd be, like talk me down you know he'd just be like we, it's Very okay bad. then he would have his <laughs> <laughs> he would be like manze to me to me make covenant na god and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> and and you just, can't reverse it. You can't reverse it, you, you know. know. So I'm just there, like, relax. We are married. I love you. So we had those moments, and I've talked to couples who have all had those moments. Because when you're living with a person, mm. it happens. Like personalities are different. You will clash yeah. at times, and then knowing you're not going anywhere. It's true. <laughs> and a <the> bedroom. <laughs> mwingine ako sitting una eh una relax na kuja tuna eh tutaongea tena i know so but it was it was i think it was the sleepover that never ended so it was fun yeah i think my advice to to the young people who are uh, um want to get married <coughs> is you will solve uh, a very big marriage problem uh if you start practicing in your life to be selfless mm. because uh, selfishness uh, is a very huge huge uh, thing that can uh, can affect your marriage what, what, do, what do I mean by this like just if someone is selfless it means that uh, most of the problems that you guys will encounter you know um, you won't have a lot of problems because you won't think about the expectations that you want you won't think about you know uh this person has to do this for me mm. you know what i mean you would be selfish when you're getting into a marriage you're getting into a marriage to give and if mm. you go with that mentality it will be much easier for you and yeah. I, and i think if guys can start die. exact to actually let me let me use the word to die to flesh Which you know is what our pastor told us. that is, that is what our pastor told us you know shout out to pastor tony gubang yeah he actually i'm sorry he mm. actually said that our wedding was a celebration but mm. for us it was a funeral Yeah. <laughs> He was uh, just like, "Hey, I walk down the aisle, but you're walking to die. <laughs> to die. To die to yourself. Yeah. Cuz now it's God, him, you and then it's you know true. for him it's God, me and then yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it it, yeah. it you know, it needs a lot of uh selflessness. Yeah. You know, and dying to self, you know, not every time wanting things to go your own way. Once a friend of mine told me that you'll be married for three quarters of your life. Mm. So it's like a really long time because sometimes i think when you're single you see as if it's like never ending yet it's going to be such a short moment of your life that you will be single as long as it seems so if you're going to be married for that long make sure it's the right person also be the right person so like by that i mean like you know let god work on you work on yourself if you know that there are some habits you have that are just not healthy to take into relationships like you know like ask god to help you get rid of them and stuff like that um but just wait on god for the right person because there's nothing worse than being married to the wrong person because like there's like nowhere you can go you know you're just stuck with this person for life and you're unhappy and depressed and all of those things so just wait on god for the right person another thing is when you're young put your energies you know to singlehood if you're single there's nothing wrong being single yeah, enjoy it enjoy it <laughs> you yeah. get yeah. because sometimes you know and uh, you'll find young people are like hey man say uh, japata am say you know what i mean like it's weird because right? yeah. me i used to be you know in a in a group of people where most of them were dating i was in dating but it was like hey man say jiji skuila tapata den you know right hey man say tukona celebration you know what i mean they didn't make me feel bad necessarily yeah. but i'm just saying that Uh, people are not celebrating singlehood mm. you know what i'm saying because there's a lot that you can do when you're single yeah. you know you can follow your passions you can put your energies to your passions because let me tell you when you get married yeah you will have two things that you have to deal with marriage is like a job you get what i'm saying mm. so you're working on this thing but you also have this thing that you're working on So right now if you're single you have this one thing that you can work that on. you can work on yeah. give a hundred percent to it so there's nothing wrong with being single yeah um, to those guys who are married um i would want to say you know congrats to you guys you know i would want to say you know you guys are the right place you get what i'm saying and um if you put god as the center yeah. number one um i think every other thing you know with the workout when god is in the middle even when you have the worst of fights Oof. before i forget the young people this is what i want to tell you find your purpose yeah find your purpose because 
um, God will 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 get the person who you can be able to push your purpose together. Yeah. You know. Just meet. Just to meet and and have this uh, project that you're doing. It's like when you're also in the marriage, it's, it's like a project you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can be able to push them together. Them together. Actually, yeah. that was a thing Gigi told me before yeah. we got married. Yeah. He told me that when we get married, our things need to work. Once we're together, it needs to be magic. Like it needs, you know, because even like now, two people, two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one. So like now, you're it's two bad. of you working on the dream, giving mm. each other ideas. You're two of you like, if you're, you know, hit a loss, mm. you get back up together. So mm. I feel like work on those passions together so that you can even, you know, it's true. succeed yeah. together. Succeed, so yeah. yeah. Well, in fact, when you're married. People should see you and like, wow, this project you're going to find him as a size is huge. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. See, at even, uh, you know, the, no, the norm, the norm right now is, yeah. you know, ah, but the earlier chapter for you is a You know, you know, I got married, yeah. you know, we got kids, and yeah. you know, life happens. Life is happening, not life happens. Yeah. Wow, remember what you say? Life is happening. Life is <laughs> life. Is, life, is, <laughs> life, is, life doesn't happen. Life, life is doesn't happen. happen. Life is <laughs> happening. Um, he's back up. He's back up. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Kwa kotu mali. So guys, please don't dab. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You said you'd still be in media, babe. That's what you've always said. Media entrepreneur. Because you've always wanted to study mass communication. Yeah, but, but that's that's something that that I am currently doing. I've never wanted acting. <laughs> In short, he tells me I'm dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> you can control things. Can I, okay, not quite. I complain a lot about small things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't like that. Yo, but you don't null and void. Nunge. Nunge. Well, um, so guys, short. yeah, I hope yeah. you've enjoyed our love story, mm. the summary of it. Yeah, yeah, I think our parting shot is uh, at the end of the day, uh, have fun, have fun with life. Like I said, life <laughs> <laughs> is happening, it's happening. <laughs> Not don't life. let don't let life happen. Don't let you. don't let life happen to you. <laughs> life is happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, parting shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to apply effect up, <laughs> you know. <laughs>